what to do. We should like do this thing where we like pass. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. so I think yeah. diagonal. This but is I, completely I, irrelevant. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a senior journalist. Hello everyone, my name is Ruth. So this is like my third, fourth, fifth take. My name is Christy. Hello! My name is Emery and I'm a CNA Insider Digital Producer. We thought it'd be a good idea to give you a little behind the scenes look at how they put together videos without being able to physically go down to locations anymore. Hey, do you like cats? <laughs> like, so right now, how we're doing it is we basically beg everybody to download Zoom so that we can <laughs> record all our calls. Like, yeah. usually when you, you interview people, you, you can look them in the eye and like, mm. tell them yeah. you're listening to them. On Zoom, I don't know who I'm looking at. Usually, I'm looking at my WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a lot of people think that we were inside the screening centre mm. filming, but we were not. But the film was done pretty well. So. We had this little thing called an Osmo camera, which we lent to the doctor. The doctor is actually the husband of the main profile, and we were teaching him how to use the equipment. She was like, well, good luck, guys, because when we go on holidays, my face is like this for the, for the picture. <laughs> so we were like, okay, you see, she's putting on a mask, right? So we need, we need you to get like, oh, maybe this the first angle she's like putting the mask on like that the second angle she's like tying putting in the hook this is the only entrance to the screening center our security guard gives them a mask now I can do this again all the footage she shot for us was over two days he did really well I don't want them to go back to school not knowing anything. I'm just afraid they would need like a lot of catching up to do. I think the most challenging one was the lower income family story. They were very busy because of HBL and everything and there were like eight children. Even when we are filming already, we try our very best not to get in their way. But now it's like we have to ask them, oh sorry, could you help us to film? So we like, oh, walk outside, yeah. capture this, capture that. And the connection was so bad. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, we tried and failed to set up the call for an hour. How are you? Yeah, fine, sister. I'm fine, good. Pugao had a very compelling story. He you know, has a wife and has a young child. Okay, I don't know. I remember at one point in time, he told me that his wife was calling him like non stop. Worried lah. Attention also coming. It was nice to chat with them and I think it also provided some respite for them because they were all very, very bored. Then they didn't have any issue with filming for you. This is my room. You, can you flip your camera? Oh, yes, yes. One minute is there, one minute is there. <laughs> I didn't want it yeah, to get to a point where like they would show me around and go places that they weren't supposed to go and get themselves into trouble. Just have to be mindful of that, that they are super friendly and to not take advantage of that. And this is my workstation. This is where I usually work. This is my workspace. I don't have a table in my room. Sometimes I shift around like my floor. Like usually there is where I sit for morning <laughs> for morning meetings. <laughs> my laptop is just propped up on all these cookbooks, so you know, maybe I should consider a different career. And also to de-stress, I tried doing some origami. Uh, this was supposed to be a cat, but unfortunately it, looked, it took me a bit like the Loch Ness Monster. So usually when I'm sitting here for a Zoom calls, he likes to come in because... Anyway, that's my cat. My dad works at home also. I could be on a call with Ruth and he would just walk in and say, Can you help me do this? <laughs> How long have you worked from home? It was end January. Well, honestly, this is a problem. When you don't work in the office, you, you never stop working. I find that when I'm working at like 2 3 a.m., hmm. I'm usually the most productive. In the past, you pace yourself a lot better because when you have to do interviews with people, there's no way that you're going to arrange four interviews in one day. Right. I mean, you'll do maybe two interviews because you yourself know it takes me time to travel. But now it's like, okay, back to back, let's do calls. There was this one week where I was putting together all the kind acts that people are doing. Mm. And like, these things go viral so quickly. Every day, you're just like, oh my god, this has to come out now. The Tantoxing stories that I was working on, and the protocols kept changing. So we were just constantly worried, like the things that we filmed, would they be outdated? How do you distress? Actually, we call each other almost every day. 
I can't feel my face to be the greening. I got confidence to the ceiling. We are a bit like, uh, what's that word for it? Mini. Overly attached. What was I saying? Did you hear that? One of the questions was, what was the most impactful story that we that I have worked on? I think for me, it was really the lower income family story. The daughter, Ella, is just one of the most genuine people we've ever met. Having all six boys at home is such a I feel my mom a lot. I'm pretty sure she, she dreams. I was really moved at that. At the end of the day, she came out of this with a very positive outlook. She took on all her responsibilities uh, without any complaints. The mum and the daughter are both just incredible people. And the children are very lucky to have them as role models. We also learn a lot when we produce these videos. At least researching for like a lab video, I had to understand what polymerase chain reaction is. Because if you don't understand your story, then how are you going to simplify it and help everybody else understand it? I find it very amazing that even behind a screen, we're still able to reach out to another person and that they're so willing to share with us. There's a lot of encouragement, especially towards our migrant worker brothers. I do think it helps. So if you got any story ideas, shout out. Just kidding. And I know it's difficult, but why don't you pick up a new skill at home? I tried and failed with origami, but I'm gonna keep trying. So um, yes, that is all. Goodbye, and thanks for watching this video.